Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this topic, I'm going to teach you bootstrap columns. Bootstrap columns are core in designing a bootstrap structure. Okay, when you are going to define columns, uh, that's you are defined how you are going to design, divide the area of your web page, how many columns you're going to have, how they are relating uh, related with each other. The distribution is quite important in Bootstrap. Okay, so let's get started and understand how columns work. Okay, here I am. I have just created a B template. This is a Bootstrap template. We just have link over here, define the border CSS and just a container file. I'm going to take a copy of this and created a columns.html and in this is I'm going to paste it here we are and I am going to just define a div.call okay and just going to call this column one okay and right click open with live server here we go so we have this column over here and I am going to define a border class which gives a just a nice border to this column. So this is a single column that it means that it is just comprised of 12 column grid of bootstrap. Okay. And it's taking the 100% width of your screen. If you are going to define two columns, so they are just taking each taking a 50% space on your screen. If you're going to define three columns, then they are equally divided 33.33%. So this is the calculation that doing by Bootstrap internally when you are just going to define columns like this. Okay, so let's take a copy of this. Let me define the heading. They are equal size columns equal size column now let's take a copy of this and i am going to just define equal so but you can provide the distribution of the column like this column i just want to take the two column space in a 12 grid system this will take four spacing four and this is going to six spacing so they are all will make together a 12 column grid if we just expand it you can find that they this is how they are appearing on the screen okay so this is how they are going to appear and you can easily watch this the distribution so these are not equal sizing these are unequal sizing it's how you are going to work but uh, you it's the sizing is all up to you if you want to just define the equal sizing this you can also achieve it by 444 four, four. so now they are equal in sizes you can just say the first will be one pick one column span then this one is four and the five so remember how many columns you have the the calculation they all should make a 12 grid column okay so like these two are making the five columns and then seven columns make it a 12 column grid okay so these are how you are going to deal with this unequal columns so i'm just taking a copy of this one and you can define Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to... Now, how many columns will appear in a row? You can also use this row calls class with a number. So in this one, I am going to say uh, by using this class, we can control how many columns in a row. Okay, so you are going to learn this and i am going to give a just margin like a style uh, margin top 30 pixel will be enough okay so here we are so this is how we are going to learn this but obviously if you are going 
So two columns, then you need to define one more column. So it will be two column in each. So a single row will have two columns now uh, because this is going to be a, another row or just a wrapper. So this is how you are going to deal with. You just want to display one column, then you can do this. So all columns will be taking one row contains one column. One row contain columns. One row contain two columns. Okay, so the row column, you can define the distribution as you like. I'm just going to disable these two and here we are. Now let's understand the column ordering, which you can also control. Okay, so I am going to say column order. Okay, and I'm going to define a order like this over here, like order. This is three. This will come in the last. Then order dash two. Then order dash one okay so you can see the column order over here is uh, like column three is appearing first why because i give it a highest order number like order dash three okay so the higher the order number it will appear on the screen at the top but what will happen if you are going to have a another column and there is no ordering in this one and i'm going to call this order zero so you can see on the screen if there is no order is defined this column is appearing at the first okay why because there is no column it means it has column zero uh, and this is the highest priority if there is no column but if you are going to define a highest number like this is going to be three then this will appear in the sequence first then two then one so you can play with this and have a good idea about it okay i hope you have learned uh this column ordering and now let's move one more topic then we will move uh, to breakpoints or responsive now let's understand about the nesting in columns so i am going to guide you column nesting okay and we have multiple columns over here i'm just going to remove the order we don't need this order over here okay and let me just give a first two columns then there will be a row okay and within this row we have two And now this row will come inside a column. Okay, so this is what this is. This is a level. Okay, this is our first level. Okay, and uh, this is I am going to call second level column one. Okay. Just giving the first level column one and this is first level column two over here and this is a second level column one and this is second level column two so you can see uh, we have like this this is the first level column and within this first level there is a another uh, a row we have defined i think you can better understand if i go give you a class dot row inside a row there is a div dot row again and let me define let me define border one pixel solid red here you go so you can see this one is appearing right now over here is a red border is the second level column because this complete row inside a column okay this is the parent column and you can define a complete new row structure where you have 
row and column inside a column. This is called column nesting, okay? Or uh, nested columns inside a bootstrap. You can deal with this. And it's all up to the, your design, your requirement. How are you gonna deal with that? It's all up to you. But the idea is clear. You can have multiple columns inside a uh, column. So here we are now, learn about the bootstrap responsive and I am going to just call this and uh, taking a copy of the basic okay so here we are and just giving a responsive columns you can also call this breakpoint okay let's have this two or three columns that's fine okay so in this one you can have you can say something like this call span consists of four column and similar call small dash four and this one the small dash four so you can also have like this responsive columns you can so what it is saying that on this smallest small devices then it will consist of this column will consist of four columns okay so small devices this will consist of four columns so uh, i have already have a plugin over here which is birth and height i just click on this pin button so now it's appearing on my screen and when i click on this the, it's just showing me the width and height of this page if i'm going to expand this you can see this is the bootstrap responsive columns work with the minimum width so when this find this minimum width which is 560 536 okay so it is just going to use this small but you can see now they are less than 560 uh, 568 okay so here we are sorry uh extra small width is 570 six so uh, anything which is starting from 576 is considered as small so uh, i am in the width of 561 that's why they are taking the full width of your screen but i just expanded to 570 here we are 576 it's just converted to three columns but less than this they are taking the full space because bootstrap is a mobile first so anything which is considered less than 576 is considered as extra small and these extra small considered as mobile first and they will always take the full width you can also control that but uh here we are with this one if you check this image again you will find that we have a couple of options over here anything which is starting from 576 is considered as small and after this breakpoint like 768 it is medium then you have 992 which is considered as large and then extra large and extra extra large 1400 over here so this is how you are going to use it so we have defined this simple uh, columns over here in a small. Let's modify this and create a another one. Okay. And I'm going to call this uh, same uh, responsive, but I'm going to change this. I'm going to say this, these are three uh, and three and three. Let's define uh, three columns, but let's define one more column over here and i'm going to say it's column number four and let's define call dash md dash on md screen is taking four spacing okay so here we are and just going to call this one so on md screen the four will appear okay so but for this one i'm going to say that call display md equals to none so on md column this column number four will not display 
Okay, so here we are on extra small. You can see the four columns are appearing over here, but on uh, on MD screen, which is not greater than 768 and less than 992. So they are just appearing three columns. Why? Because I have said there will be this column will be hidden. And this is for like, if you want to hide any column on any level, like if there are multiple like SM, okay. We have SM none, you have MD, you have LG. On every, any breakpoint level you want, you can just hide that particular thing. And similarly, you have a uh, block level, if on any level, if something is hidden, you want to show that, you can show the MD block. And if you want to totally hide something, you can say D none. So it's totally hide or display on all, all breakpoints. So this is how you are going to deal with the breakpoints. It's all up to you how you're going to define this. But this is how you can control the responsive design You're using Bootstrap. You can different breakpoints uh, by using your design. You can also control that.